In this session, I'm going to go over how to create your first slides and how to insert different types of slides in your presentation. So let's go ahead and open PowerPoint. And as we covered in the previous session, you'll be clicking here, blank presentation. And then here we can simply get started typing on our first slide. Each slide has different layouts or different designs. So typically the first slide is your title slide where you put the title of your presentation uh, along with a subtitle, either your name or something related to that. And the layouts, they'll be very similar to here. We can see this under the home tab and then under the layout area. So we have the title slide, title and content. You have two content sections and so on. So now with our first slide here, all that we need to do is simply need to type the content. So, so you add in the text. So basically it's just a matter of typing in any of those boxes that already exist in your slide. Now to add a new slide, all you have to do is you click on new slide here on the left hand side. And again, we are under the home tab and then click on new slide. Now notice since this is the second slide here in our presentation, it looks slightly different from the first one. And that is because the first one was actually a title slide. If you wanted to change this design, you can use this layout option here and change it to a different type of design here. So notice I chose two content or a single content here, title and content. That was what was there before. So that's how you change the layout on, of an actual slide. So now here, put in the title for our second slide. And it's a matter of simply clicking on each area here and just typing the content of your slides. Notice it's putting here the bullet list. My suggestion would be that at this stage, you keep on moving, adding other slides and basically create the general flow or the text for your presentation. It is very easy to waste a lot of time in, into messing with the colors and choosing images and choosing animations. And you're still on the first or the second slide, but you have spent hours. So it's best to do the outline first, then come back later. And that's when you can insert images, insert smart art and insert other components that we'll cover in the later sessions here. So then if you wanted to insert a new slide here, you click on new slide again, and then it's going to be by default, it's going to be a title slide with content as well. Now, another way to add a new slide, it's also by pressing Control M on the keyboard. Notice as well that there's a drop down here right below new slide here. And this is where you can choose a different type of layout. So you can change the layout either when you insert a new slide here, or if you have an existing slide and you want to change the layout for it, you can simply click on the slide here and then click on layout and then adjust it accordingly. If you want to undo whatever you did earlier, you can also use those tools here on the top. And this is referred to as the quick access toolbar. Again, as I mentioned earlier, of course, you could go here under the home tab and then just start changing the colors and changing components in here. Of course, you can change them by using those tools and fonts and paragraph and indentation and all these other things. But my suggestion, as I mentioned earlier, is for you to create the outline first. In some cases, if you need to move slides around, you can simply drag them from here and drag them up and down as you need them. Or the other option is by clicking here in the bottom icon, set of icons or tools here, you click on slide sorter and you can move those slides as you feel like move them around and then come back to the normal view. Now let's suppose that this was a quick presentation that we had to do for a class or for a meeting or whatever. So basically we just add in the content here very quickly by adding new slides. And then you could insert a couple images that I'll uh, show you in a moment. Now the images, and we'll cover those in more detail, but let's suppose that this is an image that we want to 
utilize from the web and notice I'm just simply right clicking and then I'm going to paste it in here and obviously we can resize this move it to where we want it and such and I'll cover this in more detail shortly and basically now we move to the next slide so we add more and more content now let's say that we were ready to to see what we did so far now we can present this or we can see what it looks like so far by clicking here under slideshow and then choosing from beginning to present it you can also present it by using the slideshow option here in the bottom and that will start the presentation and then just click on either the spacebar or the mouse or the arrows here on the keyboard and now we have a presentation that we can start with or we can utilize and we can make it fancier that we can improve by using the additional tools that I'll cover shortly. There is also an option here where you can apply a design right away by using a simple button and I'll cover this shortly here in more detail. So basically all you'd have to do, let's say you're in a rush to do a presentation, you can actually go here and pick any of those themes by simply clicking on it and notice it applies that theme or that design to all the slides in your presentation. And now if I were to present this from the beginning, notice it looks much better. So it's as easy as that. So stay tuned for the next session here on enhancing the presentation by using the design view.